Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. What we're gonna be looking at today is repairing this five-speed gearbox in this 1983 Harley-Davidson Electroglide, or Tour Glide, I should say. So, the problems that we have is that it goes up through the gears, no problem, it's rideable, but when you wanna come back down through the gears, that's a different story and it doesn't like doing that. So on the opposite side of the bike, that side, uh, there's a small linkage with two rose joints. They've been replaced already. And so all the play has been taken out of those. There's also a bush that goes through um, the engine casing on that side of the gearbox. Uh, on that side of the engine, sorry, that side of the bike. Um, and that has been replaced um, already also. So what we're gonna do uh, in this first part of the video is um, I'm gonna get the, the gearbox out of the bike and then we'll get it on the bench. If you wanna see what's wrong with this gearbox, uh, stick around to the end of this video, guys. So just removed the starter motor guys starting to get a few bits out of the way and I have debris already sitting in the starter motor. Uh, there's a piece of a roller bearing there, some bearing shell maybe. So whether that's a bearing that's meant to be sat in there or um, something out the primary drive looking at that, I would say the bearing is meant to sit in there. So. That's a problem, first problem. Retrieve all dropped sockets and nuts. So I need to look this up, whether that's meant to be permanently connected to the starter motor, I don't know.
going to nip that back up. Hmm. So maybe some excessive play there. So it looks nice and clean inside. Something's dinked it there, but it's 41 years old. It could have been off a million times. Excuse the wobbly footage, guys. So if we look at this selector drum here, can't see any huge amounts of nasty wear. That's one of the rose joints that we've already changed. This does not look good. So that's without the mechanical advantage of the clutch lever. And that is like a matchstick in a tunnel. So something going on in there. I was hoping maybe to see something really nasty from the top, but I can't as of yet. So just drain the gearbox oil, and this is the second oil change it's had in, let's say, gearbox oil change it's had in, let's say, 2,000 miles. The first time I took it out, it looked like it was having an affair with a hedgehog. And there's some swarf build up again after a couple of thousand miles. So there's definitely something going on in there. So there's definitely a bit of wear on that clutch fork. Whether that's meant to be there or not, don't know. A bit of research needed. But the, there's a lot of side to side movement in here. So again, whether that's in or out of tolerance or whether there's a bush in the top coming through here, I don't know, need to look at that.
can see the, the push rod to actuate the clutch and there's like a little release bearing there so keep that all together so just further investigation guys i don't know if you can see this but if i'm going up the gearbox so one two three four five then i'm pulling this lever with my foot obviously towards me this way but if i'm coming fifth fourth third second first for example which is where the problem lies i'm pushing the lever down you see that so that's me going up the box accelerating slowing down de-accelerating and it's not going to do it now but a minute ago see it only it's missing it or only pulling it as you can see the whole selector drum jumping and that's exactly what's happening when i'm riding and i have to keep either come back up to then get it to there that's exactly what happens when i'm riding so is this worn i need to see so here we can see the selector drum guys no obvious signs of wear no obvious signs of abuse um, so hopefully, unless this needs to be replaced for any other reason, I'll just be cleaning this up and, and using the same one. So I don't have the gearbox out of the bike yet. Uh, I just have the selector drum and the pull mechanism out of the bike. Um, if the entire pull mechanism that you can see in the picture here needs to be replaced, it does look like I'll have to remove the gearbox shafts um, from the gearbox, in which case I will have to remove the entire gearbox from the bike. But at the minute, I'm gonna try and source the parts. Um, so a new selector pool that you can see in this screen because it is obviously worn. Um, you can't see it in this picture, but it has got a lot of wear on it and the general consensus is that it is a wear and tear item. So we're gonna get that replaced. Um, in the meantime guys hit subscribe hit like watch some of our other videos uh, and uh, we will see you next time thank you for watching